rise for the bride, please. Who gives this woman to be married to this man? Thank you. You may be seated. Well, family and friends, I want to welcome you today as we gather to worship God and to witness the joining together. John Hart and Danielle Kopp in marriage. Marriage is the oldest of God's blessings on humanity as God himself performed the first marriage in the Garden of Eden in Genesis chapter 2, verses 22 through 25. There God saw that Adam was alone and he said that this was not good. So God made Eve from Adam's side and presented her as a gift to him. And as Moses reflected on this event, he says this about marriage. Therefore, a man will leave his father and his mother, hold fast to his wife, and the two shall become one flesh. In the same way that God has brought Adam and Eve together many years ago, God has brought John and Danielle together to establish a new household. And to this end, family and friends, we are witnesses. John, Danielle, our Creator God has blessed marriage at the beginning of human history in the Garden of Eden. And he blessed it again when the life, in the life of our Redeemer, Jesus Christ. During his earthly life, Jesus of Nazareth performed his first miracle at a wedding in Cana of Galilee, turning water into wine as an act of celebration and as a blessing upon this institution of marriage. God states in his word that marriage signifies the divine mystery of Christ and his union with his church, his bride. Scriptures declare that marriage is commendable in the sight of all people. And as a result, no one should enter into this covenant without much prayer, reflection, and wisdom. In light of these realities, I want to ask you a series of questions. John, I want to ask you, will you, John, take Danielle to be your wife? Will you be faithful to her and love her, honor her and live with her, and cherish her according to the commandment of God in holy marriage? If so, please say, with God's help, I will. With God's help, I will. Danielle, I want to ask you some questions. Will you, Danielle, take John to be your husband? Will you be faithful to him, love him, honor him, live with him, and cherish him according to the commandment of God in holy marriage? If so, please say, with God's help, I will. With God's help, I will. All right. Thank you. Please come forward. Take each other by both hands and face one another. Let's pray together. Our Father, we thank you for this couple, for their commitment to you, and to their commitment to honor you in this marriage. Bless these sacred moments for your glory and for the good of John and Danielle. And we ask these things in the name of our Lord Jesus Christ. Amen. Well, my relationship with John and Danielle began a few years ago when we began attending church together. They are gracious and wonderful people, but they are distinctly different. Danielle, <laughs> Danielle is more organized 
and detailed oriented. John is more spontaneous and free spirited. Danielle shows up early to events according to one clock set at one time. John needs multiple clocks set at multiple times in an effort to hopefully show up on time. To summarize it, Danielle has it together and John is catching up. <laughs> Whenever I asked them to describe each other, they did so differently. Danielle describes John as sacrificial, generous, and supportive. John describes Danielle as passionate, interesting, and beautiful. And as they enter into this life of marriage together, these differences will serve to strengthen them and to shape them. The differences in their temperament and talents are what will make the puzzle pieces of life fit together. Marriage is an act of bringing two different people from two different families and different backgrounds to fit together. Marriage is partly about two people coming together. But marriage is not only about differences, it is also about a relationship that is based in and results in unity. When their relationship began, it started in that they shared many things in common. They both enjoy coffee, concerts, traditions, dogs, and the fall season. But their unity is not merely based on their shared entrances, but on something more fundamental. It is based on a shared faith in Jesus Christ. John and Danielle are both followers of Jesus Christ. They have heard his voice, they had recognized that he was speaking to them, and they have made a commitment to follow him as the Lord of their lives. As Jesus says about his followers in John 10, my sheep hear my voice, I know them, and they follow me. And this shared commitment to serve him and to follow Christ is evident in the way they serve him with their entire lives. And this same Jesus has led them to make this commitment to one another in this act resulting in a relationship that is called marriage. And this shared faith in Christ will cause their marriage to be marked by grace, love, forgiveness. And as God is pleased to do so, their marriage will be a testament to those who do not know Jesus, that God can change and redeem anyone who trusts in Jesus. He will change them and make them new people not solely because of their commitment to follow him, but because of his unwavering commitment to love his children with a permanent and eternal relationship. John, Danielle, your saving faith, this relationship, and all good things in this life are the byproduct of your heavenly Father's love for you. And this permanent and redeeming love has brought you together here, and it will sustain you for the rest of your marriage. In Scripture, when a person enters into this type of permanent relationship, a covenant, they do so by making promises to one another in the form of vows. So John, please repeat after me. I, John, I, John, take you, Danielle, take you, Danielle, to be my wedded wife, to be my wedded wife, to have and to hold, to have and to hold, from this day forward, from this day forward, for better or for worse, for better or for worse, for richer or for poorer, for richer or for poorer, in sickness and in health, in sickness and in health, to love and to cherish, to love and to cherish, and according to God's holy plan, and according to God's holy plan, I give you my love, I give you my love. Danielle, please repeat after me. I Danielle, I Danielle, take you John, take you John, to be my wedded husband. To have and to hold. To have and to hold. From this day forward. From this day forward. For better or for worse. For better or for worse. For richer or for poor. For richer or for poor. In sickness and in health. In sickness and in health. To love and to cherish. To love and to cherish. And according to God's holy plan. And according to God's holy plan. I give you my love. I give you my love. John, what token? 
do you give of your love? A ring. <laughs> Place it there, hold it, and please repeat after me. With this ring, with this ring, I thee wed, I thee wed. And with all my worldly goods, and with all my worldly goods, I endow, I endow. In the name of the Father, in the name of the Father, and of the Son, and of the Son, and of the Holy Spirit, and of the Holy Spirit. Amen. Amen. Danielle, what token do you give of your love? A ring. Please place it on John's hand, hold it there, and repeat after me. With this ring, with this ring. I thee wed. I with all my worldly goods, with all my worldly goods I, endow, I endow in the name of the Father and of the Son and of the Holy Spirit. Amen. For as much as have consented together in holy wedlock and have witnessed the same before God in this congregation and in doing so have given and pledged their vows to each other and have declared it the same by giving and receiving a ring, I now pronounce them man and wife, in the name of the Father, and of the Son, and of the Holy Spirit. Amen. Amen. As their first act as husband and wife, John and Danielle will now partake of Holy Communion together. pray together. Father, these vows and these rings are our displays of John and Danielle's love for each other and their commitment to serve you with their lives. Bless their marriage and bless our evening, we pray in the name of Jesus. Amen. John, Danielle, you have made vows, exchanged rings, and partaken of Holy Communion together. In the sight of God and in accordance with the laws of this state, before your family and your friends, God has now joined your lives together as husband and wife, and what God has joined together, let no man put asunder. So, without further delay, John, you may kiss your bride. <laughs> It is my privilege to present to you, for the first time, Mr. and Mrs. John and Danielle Hart.
right, everyone. This concludes our service. And uh, on the behalf of John and Danielle, they would be honored if you would join them over here in the next room for a reception. Thank yep. you. You are dismissed. <laughs> Thank you, ladies.